So you got a good tripod that you use all the time, but now you have to go on a trip and don't have anywhere to put this huge thing. So let's see what's the best travel tripod for your filmmaking. Hey everyone, Camber here showing you how to use your camera to make good video. So if you're new, consider subscribing and also joining my private Facebook group where I can better answer your filmmaking questions. But I made another video that you can check out here about the best video tripods for beginner filmmakers about a tripod that I use all the time. But even though it is a great tripod, it's not the best stabilization tool when it comes to traveling scenarios. This Manfrotto B-Free video tripod, however, is a great option for travel filmmaking. It breaks down small enough to fit into my camera backpack, and I've literally taken this thing all over the world with me. I've used it mostly for filming YouTube videos while in hotel rooms in many different countries, building up my library of time lapses from various famous locations, for getting some cool looking long exposure shots, and I've also used it in a few of my short films. So you can see that this thing is pretty useful in a variety of ways, so let me know down in the comments what your main use for this travel tripod would be. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons that I've experienced with this tripod. And the first thing to be aware of is that there are both video and photography versions of this tripod. And what we're looking at here is the video version because you wanna be sure to have the video fluid head in both the pan and tilt axes in order to get smooth motion in your shots. And there are also carbon fiber and aluminum versions of this video tripod. I have the aluminum version that's 3.86 pounds compared to the carbon fibers 3.04 pounds. And that may not sound like much of a difference, but after doing things like hiking up mountains and horseback riding all day long with this thing in my backpack, every bit of weight makes a difference. And I would definitely opt for the carbon fiber version if I was gonna buy it again. The carbon fiber version comes with twist leg locks, but the aluminum has the option of either lever lock or twist lock legs, depending on what you prefer. The tripod legs have three angle positions so you can get as low as 16 inches from the ground or as high as 59 inches when you fully extend the center column. And this works great for general filming applications that you may run into while traveling, but it isn't ideal if you're wanting to film yourself while standing. Unless you're really short, though I have made it work when filming YouTube videos by either sitting or just squatting a little bit while I'm standing. But the other issue is that it starts to get less stable the higher you raise the center column, making it less than ideal for filming something like a stationary shot, long exposure, or time lapse, where you wanna be sure that the camera has no movement. The tripod has an adjustable head with a bubble level, and I really like that it has the same quick release plate that's on all my other Manfrotto heads, so that I can easily switch from one piece of equipment to another when using this tripod with my other filmmaking gear. And my favorite thing about this tripod is that it can break down into a very compact form and fit inside my camera bag so that I can take it anywhere with me, which, I have. I mean, this thing's been to at least 15 countries with me, and overall, it has been a great tripod over the last five years. However, I would not suggest it as a dedicated filmmaking tripod, because you're gonna want something heavier and more stable to hold all of your filmmaking gear. And again, I have another video linked in the description on a good beginner filmmaker tripod that should help you out. But when it comes to traveling, this is a great option for getting some really cool pictures, time lapses, and film clips all over the world. So if you're looking for a versatile, lightweight video tripod for traveling, then any one of these tripods will definitely meet your needs. If you do have any questions about them, just post them down in the comments and I'll try to help you out in any way I can. If this video is helpful, then please help me out Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.